haven't seen him in so long. He's got a special on Amazon. You all should check it out after the show. It's called Jokes I Wrote at Work. Everybody start clapping loud. Loud. Get loud. Louder, louder, louder for Brian Keep it going for Sam, everybody. Somebody's smoking and I can't have some. That sucks. That blows. How are y'all? This is my first set since the pandemic. It's been like a year and a half. Like, I was scared, but then seeing how Sam's set ended, I'm like, it'll be fine. Like, it's, it's fine. It's good. I still have the COVID hair, like I still have, I'm still scared to get a haircut, so now it's like this, and it looks like shit, like I know I've rebranded to like, dad who smokes weed with his kids, <laughs> like, but I'm also like in my 40s, and I'm like, well I could still grow hair like that, this is my last opportunity to look like a scumbag, or a homeless person, or like somebody who was like held captive by ISIS and rescued, but like before they cleaned him up, you know what I mean? Like when they just pulled him out, I just looked stunned all the time. Um, this is good. I saw back there male and female bathrooms. Not cool, not cool, totally. Just kidding. Remember when that was a political issue? Like, they're going into the male bathroom, they're going into the female bathroom, just like sort of policing who goes to the bathroom. I got way bigger concerns when I'm in the bathroom rather than who's next to me. You know, like, I'm old school. Like, you don't look at anybody or make conversation in the bathroom ever. I got, but I got bigger concerns. Is there toilet paper? Number one, is there soap? in the dispenser, why is the person next to me loudly doing cocaine off the toilet? Can I have some? Those are my... Plus, I'm just old. I've been in Austin so long at so many fucking bars. Like, I've been to so many bathrooms. I don't know which one I should go to. I'm always like, alright, am I a martini glass or a bird? I don't... don't I don't feel like a bird today. I had the triple at Whataburger, so no, I don't. I'm not gonna do that. I'm divorced. Anybody else? Any other loser? Hey, yeah. I was about to say loser, and then you were like, hey, like, hey, we cool. Um, people are like, oh, that must be so hard being divorced. No, it's fucking great. Like, it's awesome being. Free. It is hard asking somebody for a divorce though, because that is some cold ass shit to say to another person. Because when you're like, hey. I want a divorce. Like, when you finally have that, like, come to Jesus, like, I want a divorce, what you're really saying is, like, hey, I know you better than anybody else on the planet. I know your hopes, your dreams, your family, your friends, like, where you're from, like, where you want to go. I'm going to take a pass. <laughs> oh, goodness. We have a kid, though, and uh, my ex recently signed our daughter up for harp lessons. Yeah. And no, not yet. Do y'all know how expensive a fucking harp is? Like, seriously, they play them in heaven. That's how. <laughs> have you ever seen a harp in person? No, you haven't. What's your favorite harp song? Exactly. Yeah, we're too fucking poor. Do y'all know who Jeffrey Tubin is? Let's do some her. Y'all don't know, y'all don't watch uh, CNN all the time. Jeffrey Tubin was like one of those legal analysts, and uh, I think he's a writer too, but he was, he was on CNN. You know, whenever there'd be like a legal case, they'd be like, let's go to CNN legal analyst, Jeffrey Tubin, like that guy, and he lost his job. Does anybody know why he lost his job? He got caught masturbating on a company Zoom call, like on a work Zoom call. Everybody's just going about their business, and all of a sudden, he, his screen popped up, and he was just going for it, like, going, and, like, he's a hero. I'm sorry, like, we've all thought about it, but he's the only one to act, because we've all been on a work Zoom call, and they're also on Facebook, and somebody's beach photo hits you just right, and you're like, time, and he went for it, and, like, every, like, there was this outcry, you know, and, like, everybody was like, it kind of became this me too thing, but I was like, nobody in that work call was offended. You know what I mean? Like nobody was truly, truly, because like if that had happened in my office, 
if somebody had like exposed them and we just caught them going for it on that would have been the highlight of the fucking year like we would have we would have been like holy shit did somebody capture that video like we've got to watch it again immediately and email it to everyone we know like that's <laughs> Like, it's hilarious. Like, it's not like, there's nothing scarring about that. It's a sad old man. And then they let him have his job back. Like, I think he's back. Like, CNN is like, he's coming back. And people are like, this is an outrage. You know, he should. Like, yeah, he should. It's fine. <laughs> let him have his job back. With the caveat of, let him have his job back, but every time they introduce him, mention it. <laughs> Let's go to CNN legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin who, as we all remember, and then just cut the, and he has to deal with that every time. Like, that's his punishment. Um, who has mental illness? Anybody? Anybody else? I feel like mental illness has gotten way too trendy. You know what I mean? Like, it's just everybody. Like, does everybody, do we all have depression? You know what I mean? Like, are we all, I don't, it does exist. I don't like. It does, you know, like fucking Jeffrey Dahmer and like those are like they were fucking really Ill. But like sometimes it's like, are you really depressed? Or did you just want to sit in all day and watch Netflix? You know what I mean? It's fine. That doesn't mean you're depressed. It just means you're a lazy piece of shit like the rest of us. It's fine. Like you don't have anxiety, like you just like or you're not introverted. Like I'm introverted or whatever, but I'm also an asshole who just doesn't like talking to people socially. <laughs> Like, both of those things can be true. Like, if one of y'all comes up to me after the show and is like, hey, that was a good set, or hey, your stuff fucking sucked, or like something like that, I'll be like, hey, and sort of wrap it up quickly. But that's not mental illness. Because if you said, hey, I'm from Comedy Central, I'm going to be extroverted as a motherfucker. Like, that's just me looking out for myself. You know what I mean? Like, that's just... <laughs> Any Trump fans? In the, just me? All right. Well, that's the thing. I got fucking relative. I'm from Louisiana. Like, in case every part of this didn't already communicate, what <laughs> Louisiana? I got relatives who are still riding with them though, like forever. My uncle is like, well, he still he was still better than Hillary, cause she would have gotten on her period one week and started a war. And I was like, first of all, she's like 70 years old. That's not how women's bodies work. <laughs> and second, like, I'm sure way more wars started because of testosterone than estrogen, right? Like, probably, like if Hillary was president, we would have just told Kim Jong-un we were fine and we didn't mean it. You know, like as a country. <laughs> That, the funniest thing that happened this year, and I know this is shitty to say, but it has made me laugh the whole, the funniest thing that has happened, it was during the pandemic, were the January 6th riots at the Capitol. By far the funniest, because it was like this collection of, I used to be a journalist, and I don't know how to explain this, but whenever there's a big event like that, they're just these losers from all over the country who descend on any public event. Like, just because they want it, they just want attention. That's all this, like, just people want the dude with the horns and shit. Like, bald, by the way, of course. I think we all knew he was bald. But, like, but they all, they all basically threw a fit because of some shit they read on the internet. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Like, that would be like me storming Disney because I didn't like The Last Jedi. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... <laughs> and then they like, how many of those people that that was the first time they've ever been told no in their life to? You know what I mean? Like, you can't, there were too many old white people who just like, what do you mean I can't just come in? And then that white lady got shot. <laughs> and killed, and like, fucking, how, all right, and like, a tragedy, how long though do you think that security guard had want to put a bullet in somebody who didn't respect visiting hours? <laughs> you know what I mean, like, how many Karens did he want to pop since he, like, and they were like, she was a veteran, like, she was a veteran who died, and I'm like, fuck, she was a veteran? 
of that. And like she could barely make it over that door. You know what I mean? Before it got her, like I could have done it, but like she didn't. I, like, and in my mind, I'm like, she's a, she couldn't have taken out a few. Like she couldn't have done a better. She was a veteran. Like I think a Rambo or something. You know what I mean? Like so. I, and then I looked up. What was she a veteran of? Air Force. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's it. I'm Brian Gar. Thanks very much, guys. <laughs> Brian Carr, everybody, keep it going for him. Hell yeah.